Your landing page is without doubt the most important page on your Rank and Rent website. It's a page where you're likely targeting specific keywords, most likely a service and a location. It is this page where you will likely be generating your leads and that ultimately your clients will want to rent out. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how you can create an optimized landing page directly in ChatGPT. And it's very, very simple. So I just want to show you exactly what I'm referring to in terms of this landing page. So as you can see here, this is my case study, which I share on this channel. It's emergency electric in Oxford. That is the keyword and that is the service and location I'm going after. So service location. Now I'm ranking in the top two positions in the organic SERPs at the time of recording for this. And when I'm talking about the content that we can create, which is very, very important, uh, not only for our visitors and making sure that they trust us and pass their details onto us, but this is also essential for ensuring that we do rank. So this is the content that I'm talking about. So ignore the header for now. What I'm talking about is this content that makes up this page here. So imagine, ignore this for now. This is um, our, our leads magnet, which we're looking to get the uh, details of the visitor, but that's not what we're looking at doing here today. What we're looking at is the rest of the content, which will include the key entities and will help us to rank our page. So how did we get this content? Well, what we can do is we can build out a custom GPT. Now, I've logged into my chat GPT here. Now I do just want to quickly preface this. You will need access to GPT-4 in order to do this. So that is part of the paid plan at time of recording. I think it's around $20 per month. Now there's various other ways that you can create your landing pages and I will discuss them on this channel. Uh, if you would like me to record any videos of how you can do this for free, then drop a, a comment down below. But yeah, there is an element of cost involved. I do just want to quickly mention that $20 per month is, is actually very, very cost effective, especially if you're building a, a portfolio at scale and chances are you can leverage ChatGPT for many other things for your rank and rent business. So with that said, I just want to introduce you to the first prompt, um, which is gonna help us to create this uh, custom GPT. So as you can see here, I've, I've typed it before recording to save some time. I want to create a custom GPT that will enable me to create, that should be an, an optimized landing page. No, sorry, that would have been correct because I want this to be able to create multiple landing pages for multiple projects, sorry, excuse me. I want to create a custom GPT that will enable me to create optimized landing pages for service and location-based web pages. Please provide me with the required custom instructions in order for this custom GPT to be as effective, useful, and as efficient as possible. Now, this is an example. You could adapt this to suit your own needs. I'm just showing you how this works in theory. Take it how you like and play around with this as well. So here we go. This is what it spits out. Certain specific instructions need to be integrated. Below are the directives aimed at enhancing the effectiveness, utility, and efficiency of the custom GPT model. So here is what it's throwing out, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna wait for this to finish. Hopefully it won't take too long. So if we just looked at this just quickly, it's very, very specific. And it's really, if you look at it, it's very, very, um, it's very, very particular, uh, and it's much better to do this than to just come up with your own custom instructions, and you'll soon see why. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy all of this, copy all of this, okay, and I'm going to go from one to eight. I'm not gonna include the top bit for now or the bottom bit. Control C. Now what you can do, once you've logged into your ChatGPT account and, and GPT-4, you need to click on the Explore GPTs uh, button which will appear on the left hand side. At this point, these are all of the featured ones. These are all the ones that have been kind of made publicly available. There's also some by ChatGPT. But what we're looking for here is we are looking for the area where it says create. So you can see it in the top right. Now if we click this, now here we go. There's a couple of different ways we can do this. Um, you can actually build the GPT directly in this interface here. But I actually like to go into the configure and with that kind of step that I've just shown you, I just find that it's much more effective. So if you click on configure, now we're essentially building this, um, this custom GPT that we can use time and time again to create as many landing pages as we need. And it will be a one-off, a one-click solution here. So we don't have to 
pre-train Ch uh, ChatGPT every time we want a new landing page. So I'm gonna call this um, rank and rent landing page creator, something like that, something that makes sense to you. The description is just for your purposes. If you're keeping this um, to yourself, then it doesn't really matter. Now here is where we're gonna paste our instructions. But what I would do is I'd preface you, uh, the, the copy paste with just a couple of sentences. So this uh, custom GPT will, no, no, I'm gonna put, I need this custom GPT to create highly optimized landing pages for my rank and rent websites. I need them to be entity rich. I And then I would say something like, I want to provide you with a keyword. Sorry for my poor spelling. I'm gonna say service plus location. And I want you to completely uh, write the landing page for me. And I'm gonna say something like, here, here are some instructions to incorporate in your response. Semicolon, space, space. Then I'm gonna press Control V, and I'll just leave all that in here. Then the conversation starters, they're essentially, I don't know if you've used ChatGPT much, but these are those little buttons that appear on the right-hand side. So it could be like, um, the conversation starters could be something like, uh, in, in this case, it doesn't really make sense, but it, it's really to prompt you and give you ideas as to, they're kind of initial prompts that you can click and it will just kind of ping out, but it doesn't really make sense to me to use that in this use case. So as an example, I'm trying to think of, uh, let's just say I am a roofer. Write me a landing page. No, so basically, as you can see here, if we built that into it, then if you were to click this, it would just create it would cr it, it's the pre-prompt if you like, but we don't need that because we're gonna be probably making lots of different landing pages for different sites. So we don't need that at the moment, okay? Knowledge, and then here's, this is interesting. If you upload files under knowledge, conversations with your chat BT may include file contents. So that can be really, really useful as well if you've got any kind of um, data that you want to incorporate into your custom GPT. So it could be that you've, you've gone to different competitor websites and you've copied and pasted that into a file, then you upload it. So as an example, you could go uh, look at 10 different roofing websites, you could copy and paste all of their landing page data, and then you could upload it and say something like in your, in your instructions, you could say, I have provided you with example landing pages, this is the kind of thing I'm looking to create. So that's how you could do that, I'm not gonna do that now, it's just an idea for you to perhaps pursue. Capabilities, web browsing, we want that on. Uh, DALI image generation, again, we want that on, so we can create images for our landing pages if possible or if, if necessary. I'm gonna put code interpreter on as well uh, because that just helps us understand data. Um, so yeah, if you kind of hover over this question mark, you'll see what it does. It's probably not entirely useful for us at this precise moment. So at this stage, or you can add a logo if you wanted to and give yourself, you give your uh, chat, chat GPC a funky little logo. But at this stage, we're just gonna save it. So we're gonna hit save and we're gonna say only me for now and press confirm. And it's loaded it up. So now, fingers crossed, we're gonna say something like, uh, I, I want to create a landing page for emergency electrician Oxford. Let's put that in. That's all I'm gonna put in. And I'm gonna go, go, and let's see what happens. Brilliant. Got a meta title, which is absolutely fantastic. Probably better than I've come up with. If I actually put in um, this, see I come up with local experience available and my custom prompt has come up with quick, reliable 24 seven electrical services. Fantastic. Meta descriptions, given us that as well. Encounter no delays with your electrical emergencies in Oxford. Our certified emergency electricians offer 24 seven rapid response ensuring safety and reliability. Contact us now. It's given us a H1 and look how easy this is because you can just copy and paste it. It tells you exactly where to put it as well. Emergency electrical services in Oxford, prompt and professional. Electricity is the pulse of your home and business and when it falters, you need an immediate professional solution. As Oxford's premier emergency electrician, look how content rich this is, entities. Look, we've got lots of ele emergency electricians, references to that. We provide rapid, reliable and safe resolution to your uh, electrical emergencies 24 seven. This is absolutely, look at this. It's, imagine landing on this website. 
you just know you're in the right place. I'd be, st I'd want to provide my details, and this is exactly what we're trying to get at here. Heading soon. Why choose our Oxford emergency electricians? It's just absolutely brilliant. Our, this is honestly, this is. At, if we refer back to the one that I come up with, um, here, which was, I, I, you know, there's a lot of work that went into this, but it's literally, it's lit, it's literally the same kind of thing. Mine is probably a little bit. Um, more more expanded if I just look at this um, you know uh, on first glance but you know it's got everything you need why why trust us call to action it shows you where to put the call to action further information and then you've got a little note here no to enhance user engagement consider integrate an interactive chatbot for immediate assistance I didn't even think of putting in a chatbot a contact form for quick inquiries as I've done and a Google Maps widget pinpointing your location it's exactly what I've done. Um, this is absolutely brilliant, as you can see. And then it says here, please view the content and modify it to align precisely with unique services. So you could say, future prompts, I like the, I like the why choose our section, but please expand it. Now, bear in mind, now this is all set up, it's saved. I can just load up the rank and rent landing page generator and whenever I start a new project, I can just say, let's say I'm starting a new project, carpet cleaning in London. I could just go in here with one prompt, I want to create a landing page for carpet cleaning London and it will do the same thing. And then if we need additional content, look at this. P please expand it. Look at this, absolutely mustard. It's exactly what you want. Absolutely brilliant. So any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. I hope this video is useful. I hope this gives you some ideas. You can take this in so many different directions as well, but this will help you create landing pages efficiently, effectively, and also um, if you've got a portfolio, you know, $20 a month. Say you've got 10 sites. This is, that's, you'd say $2 on, your, on this site alone. So yeah, let me know how you get on. Uh, and with that said, I hope you have an excellent day and all of the best with your rank and rent projects.